How y'all doing this morning? Hope all is well. Hope everybody's prayed up this morning. Hope everybody uh, is off to a, a good day today. Uh, today we're going to read Psalms. Uh, and we could just read, I was going to start at Psalms 5, but we could just start at 6. Because we know when the Most High come back, he's going to govern the earth. And uh, let's just start at uh, yeah, let's start at five. It say, "Let the people praise thee, God. Let all the people praise thee." Let's go to number six. Then shall the earth hear her increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. So, this is what the children of the Most High is waiting on—to be blessed, not just individually, but as a nation of people. You know, we are a nation. So when we think about this uh, and, 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 you know, think of, uh, talk about the Most High and how He's going to bless us, He's not just going to bless us individu individually, but He's going to bless us as a nation of people. So let's go over to, uh, let's go to Leviticus 20. Leviticus 26 and 4. 26 and 4. You know, so we've got to think about this as a nation of all of us. You know. Let's go to 26 and we can start at number 4. And it said, Then I will give you rain in due season, and the land shall yield her increase and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit so right now in that land we know it's like a desert out there you know because the most I said that uh, as long as the Gentiles were out of that land you know it wouldn't it would, it would be desert out there until we return so the lord is saying that he's gonna uh make the trees of the field yield fruit you know and what is that fruit the fruit could be knowledge but also we know that the fruit it could be actually a little a, literally a fruit But right now, we know when we look in the land of Israel, it's like a desert out there. There's nothing growing in certain places. It's, it's, it's like desert. And nothing is growing there. So let's go to Isaiah 29 and 19. And it says, uh, The meek shall also increase their joy in the Lord. And the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. So, this is talking about the Most High. We should rejoice. For the terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorner is consumed, and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. You know, so the Most High is going to cut off all iniquity, you know, all sin. You know, there won't be no more sinning in the kingdom of the Most High. Everything will be righteous. Let's go to Matthew right quick. Uh, let's go to Matthew chapter 6 and uh, 6 and 33. Six and thirty-three. Six and thirty-three. You say, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is. 
the evil thereof. So, before the Most High can bless us with anything, we first have to seek His kingdom. And where is the kingdom of the Most High? The kingdom of the Most High is in your mind and your thoughts. That's the kingdom first. You know. So we got to make sure we're studying the scriptures and meditating in the scriptures, as the scriptures say, day in and day out, so we get the proper understanding. And uh, uh the, the, the wisdom. But first, before any of that, y'all, we have to fear the Most High. You know, you have to have that fear of the Most High first. You know. So, uh, without that fear of the Most High, we know knowledge and, and, and He's not going to deal with you on a, on, a, on a level like that. You know. So that's how you seek his kingdom, by fearing him first, studying, meditating in the scriptures, get the proper understanding, being taught the truth from brothers who hold the truth, you know, then everything else, just it comes, you know, pray about it, pray for understanding, pray for guidance. You know, and the Most High bless you with it. He'll give it to you if if you're really sincere about what you're doing. Are you really trying to help the people wake up to change their ways to see the light in a different way that they've been taught? You know, because you know we we just have to have His truth. Without that, uh, we 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 done. We in darkness, and that's where we don't want to be. We don't want to be in darkness, especially in these times that we living in. We got all these plagues and all of these this these um <clears throat> diseases coming to the earth. Uh. And you know, we just don't we just don't we have to have this word in these last days. Without that, a lot of us gonna perish out here and we don't want that man. We don't want our family members, our friends, <clears throat> our loved ones going through hard times. You know, we all wanna make it. So let's uh go right here to Isaiah fifty five and six. It say, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. You see? So call on the Lord while he is near. You know? While these brothers out here teaching the truth, you know, study. Listen to what these brothers are saying. Because the brothers, the pastors, who's wearing the suit ties and the suits. You know, it, it's most of them is all about gang. You know, a lot of them being paid. A lot a lot of time we've been um, taught lies. They're being paid to teach us lies. But the brothers who's, who, who look tore down or broke down, those are the brothers who's holding the truth. It's backwards out here, man. So we just got to get ourselves on track, you know. Verse 7 say, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So the Most High is on a whole different level from how we thinking. 
out here. You know. So we just gotta uh, get that correct, get, and just know that the Most High gave us commandments so that we can prosper, so that we we can live. Let's go right here to uh, Ezekiel. Uh, this is uh, thirty-six and twenty-three. It says, "I will sanctify my great name." which is profane among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. So the Lord is saying that we have profaned his name. We're not even calling on his name, which his real name. We have polluted his name right along with the heathen. You see? And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, said the Lord God, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. You see that? So, all nations are going to know that the Most High and His people. It says, For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries, and I will bring you into your own land. Then I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean. From all of your filthiness and from your idols, I will cleanse you. You see? A new heart also will I give you. So that same old wicked heart that we have, the Most High is going to throw that wicked heart away and give you a new heart, a clean mind. That polluted mind is going to be taken away. And the new spirit will I put within you. You see, he's going to just cleanse us up, man. That's a beautiful thing. Because we are, uh, we are filthy in this place. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you a heart of a heart of flesh. See that? And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statues, and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land that I will give to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. You see that? So, that's a beautiful thing, just knowing that, y'all. That the Most High is, 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 is dealing with this with us on this level. And nobody else. He's dealing with us. You know. And he said, we will be his people. And he will be, and he will be our God. Because we don't know, we, a lot of us don't know our Lord. We don't know our Lord and Savior. You know, a lot of us is still thinking our Lord and Savior is someone else, but really, He's in our image. And a lot of us don't know that. And that's very important that we must know that, man, that, that the Lord is in our image. But we're in His image, matter of fact. Let's say that. It sounds better that way. So I just wanted to share that with y'all, you know. Share these scriptures with y'all. Because, you know, like they say, each one teach one. We all have to uh, we all have to wake up from the slumber that we're in. We all have to change our mindsets. You know. Change our heart with just the mind. The heart just pumps blood. The mind is what changes So, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for listening, sharing, subscribing. I really appreciate it. And uh, most likely, I'll be back with with an, uh, with another one. Okay. So let's 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 remember to let's pray, y'all. Pray. 
call on your name, your, your, your God. Call on his name. And he'll be there for us every time. Peace.